second ago. If you have a quote, real ID, I highly encourage you, okay, to get rid of it. You have to cancel it for lack of full disclosure because they didn't disclose that entire program is designed for your expressed permission. There's like this blanket authority where the Department of Motor Vehicles on every state is going to be marrying all of your data, everything related to your social security number, which is like banking, travel, education, taxes. I mean, your criminal record, your um, utilities. I mean, it seems like they didn't miss anything. And that's how they're going to be able to monitor you in the UN sustainable development goals, right? It's, it gives like this quiet permission that they can monitor track trail and surveil you. So, um, definitely, um, I, I just highly encourage you to get rid of that because it's such an egregious, um, you know, it lacks full disclosure, but because they say ignorance of the law is no excuse, then you don't really have a recourse that I know of anyway, I haven't fought it just using my own education to avoid, um, not avoid, but, um, what's the word? It's not avoid. It's, a. Uh, anyway, there's a word where you, you're going around it lawfully and peacefully. So what could you have instead? Cause there's this threat, right? That if you don't have a real ID, you won't be able to have the benefit of being able to get on an airplane and go somewhere far away. Right. So you are allowed to get a passport um, and it is an acceptable form of identification and it may be used in lieu of a real ID driver's license or ID to board domestic flights and visit federal facilities. So you can get a new passport as a non-citizen. I have heard through the grapevine that the instructions at Copper Moonshine Stills unfortunately lead to a, a federal document that has a new date on it. So they removed the check mark box for um non-citizen okay so you need to find an older version of the ds11 you could check off non-citizen um if you own a business then you will want to convert your business into the private in other words if you have an llc a partnership a corporation either an s or a c corp you know you're going to want to you're going to want a non-profit right you're going to want to get that business out of the corporatocracy and onto the land. And there are instructions on how to do that on the TASA website. Also, if you want to serve your state assembly as a state citizen role, then you can't also serve your municipality, let's say. So you can, or, you know, you can't be a fiduciary um, or a voting member of any um, corporation board, right? So that could even be your, if you own or operate an S corp or a C corp, you know, you can't be a voting member of that if you want to serve as a state citizen. So keep that in mind because, you know, you are allowed, if, as a state national, okay, you can serve in a role as a state national. And then, you know, when you clock out, you can go back to whatever functions you have um, in that de facto government but you cannot do that as a state citizen. State citizens have a hard line. There's no allegiance whatsoever to any foreign government. So I encourage you to follow next steps in the chart your course module at the TASA website. Now I'm going to give you the TASA website at the end because there's so many other references to the TASA website here. So um, I'm going to move along and then give you that website shortly. If you're a mother or father on this call, you're going to want to do your baby deeds. It's actually called the deed of land recording for your sons and daughters. So if your children are, you know, they still have what's called a birth certificate, it means that they've been, you know, like a, like a valet, you know, like a car taken away in valet, right? Their identity belongs to the corporation. And so you need to correct the record permanently. Also, if you have a professional license, you get, you need to know that just because you have any kind of a license, it does not mean that you should, um, Go do anything that goes against the constitution. Okay. You're not under the constitution, but that license is. So any of the activities that are performed as a function of the licensure is governed by the constitutions. 
in a sort of top down, like a uh, hierarchical kind of way. Right. So if you have a, someone that you work for or work with, that is like the parent corporation and they tell you, um, um, to do something that goes against any of the constitutions, you're allowed to say no. And this is proof. WW Cargill Company versus State of Minnesota from 1901. Um, if you're married and you have a marriage license, right? Speaking of licenses, um, you can do a removal of your sick, your quote signature for lack of full disclosure. And I highly recommend that you do that. Otherwise, your union with your your husband or your wife. Um, that union is actually, um, in the jurisdiction of the de facto state of state. So you want to remove your matrimony out of their jurisdiction and do it, you know, with your eyes wide open. That means that they can't come in and steal the fruits of your marriage, either your children or your, your belongings and, you know, things that you own together. What if you started a business together? What if you own a home together? You know what I'm saying? So get the government out of your, um, relationship. Also to learn how to do an autograph, okay, um, this inside of the white box, this whole thing is called a byline because it contains the word by with a colon and a line and a copyright symbol on the, on the right-hand side. And then all rights reserved without prejudice. So um, a, uh, on the family name, right? In this case of this example, it's Doe. There's the thumbprint, right? The thumbprint is your is your, uh, you know, that's called your seal, your, your own seal. So keep that in mind. Um, notice that there's blue ink color, which is the most common. If you're doing any kind of a declaration, you're doing, um, um, a declaration in the form of, of an affidavit. We don't use affidavits on their own as free people. You can do like an affirmation or a declaration in the form of an affidavit, but we don't do just uh, something called affidavit. Um, notice the style of the letters. 